Let's go back to C1 where you had expressions like y equals 3x cubed plus 2x squared. And to work out what um, the gradient was at any point, you differentiated. And what you did is you differentiated both sides of that equation with respect to x. So that's d by dx of y equals d by dx of 3x cubed plus 2x squared. Well, d by dx of y, that's just dy by dx. And d by, di d by dx, I can't say it, d by dx is 3x cubed, uh, 3 3's and 9's, so that's 9x squared and 4x plus 4x. Now we've already looked at the situation where we've got x equals 3y cubed plus 2y and in this case we differentiate both sides with respect to y. So it's d by dy of x equals d by dy of 3y cubed plus 2y. It's OK to write this abbreviation, but you do need to write out something to explain what you're doing. d by dy of x, well that's dx by dy. And d by dy of 3y cubed, that's 9y squared plus 2. So from that, dy by dx is 1 over 9y squared plus 2. What we're looking at in this video is equations like x squared plus y squared equals 8x and how to work out what dy by dx is. So let's differentiate both sides with respect to x. So that's d by dx of x squared plus d by dx of y squared plus d by dx not plus, equals d by dx of 8x. What well, d by dx of x squared, that's easy, that's 2x. And then over here, d by dx of 8x, that's easy, that's just 8. But this bit isn't quite so straightforward. This is saying let's differentiate y squared with respect to x. doesn't make sense x squared with respect to x, that's fine. But not y squared with respect to x. What we could do, of course, is differentiate it with respect to y. But I can't just change stuff like this. We can't just change the, the dx there. Let's, oh, let's, I don't want to differentiate with respect to x. Let's differentiate with respect to y. You can't do that. What we can do, though, is put a dy by dx in there. And that's allowed because the dy there, those dy's, it's as if they cancelled out, it's as if they're fractions and they cancel out. That's why this notation is so brilliant. And we're left with d by dx. That's what we had here, d by dx. d at the top, there it is, dx at the bottom, there it is, and the dy's cancel out. So therefore we get 2x plus, well, differentiate y squared with respect to y, that's easy, 2y. We've got dy by dx, that equals 8, and so from that, once again I'm squashing it in, which you must not do in your work. From this I can say dy by dx is 8 minus 2x over 2y, uh, which does simplify to be 4 minus x over y. What about 3x cubed? plus 2x squared y cubed plus 4y to the power 7 equals 12. What's dy by dx here? Well, let's differentiate both sides with respect to x. 
So d by dx of 3x cubed plus d by dx of 2x squared y cubed plus d by dx of 4y to the power 7 equals d by dx of 12. So some of this is easy, some of this isn't. So differentiate 3x cubed with respect to x, 9x squared. This bit here though, we've got a product. It's 2x squared multiplied by y cubed. So the rule is, let's differentiate 2x squared and leave y cubed alone. And then let's leave 2x squared alone and differentiate y cubed. Leave that for a minute. And then we've got d by dx of 4y to the power 7. And then d by dx of 12, that 12 should have been over there, but there was no room. Uh, d by dx of 12, that's 0. So we've got 9x squared plus 4xy cubed. There's a cube there. Not very good, 3, but there we go. Uh, 2x squared. Now, I can't differentiate y cubed with respect to x, but I could with respect to y. And then the dy by dx cancels. Uh, the dy's cancel out to leave me with the d at the top and the dx at the bottom like there was here. d at the top, dx at the bottom, the dy's cancel out. And the same thing here, d by dy of 4y to the power 7, dy by dx, and that equals 0. So I've got 9x squared plus 4xy cubed, slightly better 3 there, plus 2x squared, differentiate y cubed, that's 3y squared, dy by dx, and differentiate 4y to the power 7, that's 28y to the power 6, dy by dx, and that equals naught. So I've written that out again. Uh, let's just tidy things up a little bit. It's 9x squared plus 4xy cubed. I've got 2 times 3, 2 times 3 I reckon is 6. And then I've got 28 y to the power 6, and both those terms have got a dy by dx in, so dy by dx is a factor. So therefore dy by dx is these two terms taken over to the right hand side, so it's minus 9x squared minus 4xy cubed, divided by the bit inside the brackets, 28y to the power 6. There we are, that's a 6.